But did President Obama push ahead with a Bush era plan to provide weapons to Israel? A recent investigations turning up facts and looking into a deal that went down back in 2009. Peter Ducey is live in Washington with the story. Hi, Peter. Hi, Shannon. We sold Israel 55 GBU 28 hard target penetrators, also known as bunker busters, back in 2009. That's according to Newsweek. The Pentagon is now saying, quote, we're not going to comment on these press reports, but make no mistake about it, the United States is committed to the security of Israel and Israel's ability to maintain its qualitative military edge. Now, these bunker busters are designed to take out targets that are buried underground, so they'd be very handy if Israel ever decides to strike Iran's nuclear facilities. And former U.S. Ambassador to the U.N. John Bolton says they definitely boost Israel's arsenal and the fact President Obama allowed the sale of these bombs, Bolton says, could signal that he's ready to let Israel take care of his dirty work. It's clear the Obama administration will not use military force against Iran's nuclear weapons program, despite the fact Iran is very, very close to achieving uh, a nuclear weapons capability. If it falls to Israel uh, to undertake that, as they have done in the past against Syria, against Iraq's nuclear reactor, then I hope they have the capability to do this. And I think uh, bunker busters will, will add to the prospect that they could attack successfully. The deal for these bombs was originally made by the Bush administration, who wanted to do it back in 2005 because they said, quote, this proposed sale will contribute to the foreign policy and national security of the United States by helping to improve the security of a friendly country that has been and continues to be an important force for economic progress in the Middle East. That was 2005. There was a little holdup because there was a fear Israel might be giving our military technology to the Chinese. President Bush said Israel could have the bombs in 2009 or 2010. President Obama, of course, had taken over by then, and he is the one who gave the final approval. Shannon. All right. Peter Ducey, thank you very much. Yep. But now, we've got some headlines. All right, let's get right to those secret details emerging on the relationship between President Obama and Israel. An exclusive report in Newsweek says that while the president was publicly urging Israel to make concessions over Palestinian settlements, he secretly authorized the sale of 55 bunker buster bombs to the Israelis shortly after he took office. Reports say the Israelis could use these deep penetrating bombs to attack Iranian nuclear sites if the need arises. Justice is not about agenda. It's not about mobilizing people. It's about dialing for corporate dollars. These two parties have sold the U.S. government and the American people to the highest bidders.